Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm sharing with you a impromptu Halloween Happy Mail that I'm sending to Serena B. I will link her information down below. I am sending this to her, and here was my primary inspiration. I had some of these leftover toe tag, attached to toe Halloween tags that I thought she would absolutely love, and I was trying to think... Since I had like a pack of them left, I was trying to think who would really enjoy these and Serena came to mind. So I've packaged up three of these uh, Pebbles packages and gifted them to her in this treat bag that was sent to me for my dear friend Jana and um, I was inspired by Jana's Happy Mail as well to create something and you'll see little elements um, from her Happy Mail here. She had gifted me this little plastic container and I added some of my own touches and some of the things that she gave me and I filled it with some candy as it says here um, to uh, to gift some little treats to Serena as well. Uh, in here, there's face masks. There's two different ones in there. Um, I love these clips. I actually just wanted to give gift her a clip. And this, instead of sticking it on here and saying, hello, Serena, I actually left it um, tucked in here so that she can use it because I love this hello. Um, and then there's a fun little card in there as well. That's like a nice sort of piece of ephemera that's all Halloween themed. This is a lot of um, doodle bug paper that I had on hand. So I am going to put that in there. Um, let's, let's, actually, let's start with this. Here's, here's a neat thing I did. I took some bags. So I also recently saw Serena collects treat bags and these are a set of treat bags that I purchased from Carlton Cards in my city. I don't think she has anything like this and I thought that she would really love them so I picked some of these up for her. When I replaced the um, card that was in here and I decorated it up. I added some sequins in there so it's like a bit of a shaker pocket. So I'm gifting her some treat bags because she seems to collect them and I didn't see anything like this in her stash. And speaking of treat bags, here is one of the treat bags that comes in there. She loves this movie Hocus Pocus and I just topped it off with a skull, the word smile because this is smiling and this little inflated ephemera from Amy Tangerine and inside I have gifted her I think she will love these Jolie's Boutique um, spiders and spider webs I think that's gonna be something that uh, will add nicely to her collection of Halloween items I've also gifted her some ephemera from the witch hazel collection and it's got uh, like a spooky mixtape and a library card a dark and stormy night like I've just lots of little fun things to add to her October daily that she does perhaps or her happy mail or any number of things so the main thing that I made for her was this envelope flip and I used my one, two, three punch board from We Are Memory Keepers to create these envelopes. I just took an eight by eight envelope and followed the instructions on the board, which are very simple. And I created this set of five. Again, I used the October afternoon witch hazel collection to create this. And I just love, I love this little witch here with the potion. Um, I just did some Fun layering, get your witchy on, special potion, and then I filled each pocket with some goodies. Now, Jenna had gifted me some little scalloped circles that she had made, so I went ahead and I used one of those as a focal point for this envelope here. I lined it with some fun textures, and I put my seal on the back of the envelopes and it's just held together with a ring clip. This one's fun. Get keeping it freaky. And again, 
with the seal. I created a little shaker eye of newt pocket which I thought was perfect for this girl with the cauldron and um, I layered in some leaves and pumpkins and things and tags in here and that one's filled with candy and then I used this big sticker this tree sticker as a backdrop to create this eek envelope which was really cute and I put some little um, decorations on the edge here one of those tags that I've gifted her as well as some black tool and this cute little skeleton that Jana had attached to one of my packages. I've reused a lot of the things that Jana had um, used in my packaging to create this for Serena. Let's put this here. And then because I've gifted her some things that she can use and some samples of this collection here, the Witch Hazel, I did gift her some uh, paper to go with it and the papers are from my stash of this collection that I thought that she would enjoy some really fun ones like that some really neat things I think she'll get good use out of and there's some word stickers that are awesome like just perfect for adding a final little touch to any Halloween project and even a couple of big 12 by 12 sheets as well that I think that she will enjoy. So she has a little bit to work with some of these um, embellishments and things and if she was inspired by the tag flip that I made her and she wanted to reuse any of the elements on there she could easily um, have some paper to create some things as well. I'm not sure that, now I've been scrapbooking for a long time and that October afternoon, maybe from before her time, I think it might be a Halloween collection from like seven or eight years ago. So it's, it's an older one and uh, it might be something that she doesn't have. So I'm just going to cover this all up with some shred to keep everything nice and protected in shipping. And I made her a card as well. Now the main reason why I'm sending this um, gift to her is because I absolutely adore her channel. I think she is so talented and so creative and I've been inspired by her and I wanted to just send her a thank you. A thank you for all the inspiration. She has done some amazing tutorials that have allowed me to make some really fun projects to gift to friends and I just wanted to say thank you and share a little love to my fellow Canadian paper crafter. So I thank you so much for watching and I will um, link a video here that I'm talking about that that Serena inspired me to create a little folio and uh, then you can have a, a look at what I'm talking about um, and again I'll have her information linked down below so you can see that as well. So I thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would love to have you here. Go ahead and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye.